What's up, everybody? Hey, chicken breast, chicken liver, and a bluegill head, fresh bluegill head. I plucked one out before I started the video. See how it goes today, Johnny. We had a lot of rain overnight. It stopped about seven this morning. It's about, I don't know, it's supposed to be about 78, 79 degrees today. That's it. So the heat wave comes tomorrow. We're looking at 90s to 100 all week. Look all right. You see all three pretty decent. That yeah, looks all right. Looks all right. Looks a little better, huh? Right? Let me see. There we go. That looks good. Yeah. What up, JTC? What's up, Jeremy? How you doing, buddy? Lisa, how are you? Emily, Dave, what's up, man? What's up? Brandon, CVA, Danimals, Yak Shore. What's up, everybody? Hope everybody's doing all right today. Right. I got bluegill head on that white rod. I got chicken liver and I got chicken breast. Let's see if we get some action today. It's a nice hazy overcast day. It's not supposed to be that warm. So uh <clears throat> we'll see what happens. Bait shop had no live bait, so. What up, Big Slim? What's up, buddy? My middle rod is my new rod setup. It's got the Pisca Fun and a seven-foot ugly stick. And I got a seven-foot ugly stick on that left rod as well. Let's see if we get get some action <clears throat> today. Hope so. Hope so. I hope something hit that bluegill head, huh? That'd be nice if that thing slams down. I might have to pitch another bluegill. That was a good size one, too. Hmm. Hmm. Fucking a little bluegie, huh? Hope we're all doing all right today. Everybody doing good? Get another bluegill for safe measures, just in case. Perfect, yep, perfect, perfect, perfect. Huh, perfect to probably use this guy live. Perfect size, too. Yeah. Oh, man, it's the perfect size to use live, isn't it? Never know, I might toss that out there live. Yeah. We'll see, huh? We will, we will see. Look, that one bluegill, that was huge. I said, now nah, let me go in a little bit smaller. I got another one, decent size. So, I'm going to save this sucker. It's a good day today. It's an overcast. Hmm. Keep you alive, boy. Keep you alive in here. Hmm. Might be going on for a fly. Alright, chicken breast, chicken liver. Oh, something's hitting that bluegill head. Imagine that, huh? Something's hitting the bluegill head, guys. I don't know if it was a turtle hit or what. But that bluegill head would just shake it. <laughs> Hoping it would get slammed. But that white rod was just bouncing at the end there. Let's 
There's a lot of catfish in here, but there's also a lot of snapping turtles as well. Hmm. So. Let's see, go over here. I'm gonna just jump to the left. That might be a perfect size live food here. Hit that live food. Don't just hit it. 5-0 hooking that sucker. How's everybody doing today? How we doing? How we doing? What's up, 217? What's up? What's up? The Bud Files. Good morning. We just had some little tappage on that white rod. <clears throat> it's got the bluegill head on it. And then I got chicken liver on the middle rod. And chicken breasts on that left rod. So, see if any of those rods get slammed. Today's supposed to be the only cool day out of the week. Supposed to get hot, real hot. Yeah, there's some ripples. There's a little breeze, but yeah, it's nice. It's nice and uh, it is. It, it is calm. My buddy, I texted my buddy a little late. I asked him if he had a cast net I could use. And I had passed, him, passed where he works about 10 minutes already. He's like, yeah, I got one in my car. I'm like, oh, that's great. I could have cast net and I probably could have got a boat. Oh, middle rod chicken liver. I probably could have got a boat load of... Oh, oh. Did I miss this? Chicken liver, hit the chicken liver. Huh. Sorry. It's alright, it's alright. Got my magic elastic band and stuff like that. And all that good stuff. Keep the liver on. Had my hook out. A good amount. He took a bunch of it. Alright, so we already had a hit and miss on the chicken liver, guys. And we had a couple little dinks hits on the bluegill head. <coughs> Let me go with more liver on here, huh? More leverage. Leverage. What happened there? Just, just, just channel cats, man. They like to hit and then they like to swim in on you. That's what they did there. They kept bouncing, too. Chicken liver on here. Elastic threaded up. <clears throat> Maybe one of the, I should really face the rods while I'm doing this. But I'm gonna wrap some elastic thread around this sucker. Because I ain't dealing with it flinging off every two seconds. Come on, man. Something hit that bluegill head before. Let's go. Let's go. There's already some action. Chicken, chicken liver back out there. Yeah. So far, a hit on the bluegill head and a hit on the chicken liver. Where am I? I gotta pass these rings around. Good. Perfect. Perfect. We're gonna get some 
action today, guys. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Maybe something big on that bluegill head, huh? Well, that water's bubbling over there. I probably could have cast a net and got freaking 50 herring already. Or shad. Herring or shad, whatever they are. I don't know. I don't know what's going on over here. Today. Like maniac. my hat on today got my hook jail bay outdoors sent me with the sticker look at that maybe it's good luck maybe we'll catch a 13 pound channel today huh Two hits so far. One on the uh, one hit on the bluegill head, and one hit on the chicken liver. What's up, buddy? What's up? How you doing, Ashley? Randy, Randy, Rhino. How you doing, pal? Everything good? Leon, life. How you doing? How you doing? Hopefully, we land some fish today. I'm telling you, it's a nice, calm, cool day. I got, I got, I got a live bluegill right here in the bucket. So, I got a bluegill head on that. That white rod that had a couple taps on it earlier. Fortunately, it probably wasn't too big. Um, and I got some hits on that middle rod, that chicken liver. Just a hit a couple times, and the line slacked up, and then the rod bounced a little bit again. So I started reeling in because they're circle hooks. And nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. What's up, Martin? How you doing, buddy? What's up? What's up? Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. <clears throat> I'm hoping today will be a decent day. I got out here a little bit earlier today. Mondays and Tuesdays seems to be a little bit, a little bit better for me to get out a little, little earlier. I get done with work earlier. Oh, there goes that bluegill head again on that white rod. I don't know if you guys saw that. That white rod was bouncing a little bit again. Didn't take it, unfortunately. No takedown on that sucker. But it, it was bouncing. Vanessa Kitty, how you doing? Good morning. Thanks for stopping in here, guys. I appreciate all you guys popping in this morning. I've had a couple hits so far. A couple on the bluegill. And uh, a couple on that middle rod chicken liver. I got chicken breast on, on the close rod. Oh, hasn't had any uh, action yet. What are we, 14, 15 minutes in? <laughs> I got a, I got about a live three inch, three and a half inch bluegill in the pail here. So that sucker might go on later. I might hook that and toss him out there. Might get a big pike, a big catfish, big pickerel. You never know. You never, never know. We need a nice takedown now, I tell you that. I was hoping to get that that middle rod, that chicken liver. That would have been my first fish on my new setup. But, nope. <laughs> no surrey bob. Nope. So. Well, something massive just jumped over there to the left. If you guys heard it or not, but. It's a couple of fish been jumping right there. Fortunately, I'm not looking over there, so I can't see what it is. It'll be a, I don't know if it's a, oh, that chicken breast is getting hit. Hmm. So far, hits on every rod, but no, no taking. Two hits on the bluegill, one hit on the chicken liver, just now one little tap on the chicken breast. Come on now, we're getting hits, guys, but we need something to just slam it. 
hook itself. Come on, man. Take that gamakatsu hook. We are getting hit. We are getting hit. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. There's a black mallard out there. Was that you? That was a... Uh... Sure hope. Sure hope you don't have my freaking... The black mallard duck out there making noise and flapping away in the water. I don't see my rods moving. I don't need him going down there plucking anything. Get out of here. Go, go, go. I don't want to catch you, man. <laughs> don't want to catch you. Casters Fishing Whales, how you doing? Get out of here, buddy. I don't want to catch you. You guys are wondering what I'm yapping about. It's the... Uh, the black mallard duck out there. I don't want him going down and taking any of my bait. Last thing I want to do is uh, reel in one of them. So anyway, we've had hits on every single rod so far, but nothing is taken. <clears throat> nothing has taken. We'll get a nice takedown today. We'll get, some, we'll get some fish today. Starting nice and early. Maybe we'll do five or six hours. It's only supposed to get up to about 78 degrees today. Tomorrow, supposed to bump back up right to 92 degrees. It's supposed to feel like 102, the humidity. So, I got pork chop on Wednesday I'm going against. So, this is just a preview of what, what's going to happen on Wednesday, which is nothing. Really don't feel like losing a pork chop on Wednesday. I'm telling you right now. I never had smoked catfish either. I've had smoked salmon. Smoked trout. I think that's it, honestly. I never had it. Never had it. I'm sure it's real good. You know, they're nice and meaty, these fish. <coughs> Get out of here, duck. Let's go, bluegill head. I'll give that blue. I'll give everything uh, quite a while. Everything has had hits so far. So if I if I change the if I reel any rods in, it's only to rebate. Or to uh, re-get the uh, re-get the hook situated. So, <clears throat> it's chicken breast, chicken liver, and bluegill head. That's what it is in a row. Yep, I've used worms. I haven't had any freaking luck on worms. I plucked in more sunnies and perch than I do on worms. <clears throat> I figure with the chicken breast and the chicken liver. And the bluegill, you know, better chance of catching some catfish or some pike, pickerel. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's get some takedowns, huh, Johnny? Get out of here, duck. I'm telling you, I don't need you inhaling that bluegill head out there. How we doing, casters? How's everything all right? Everybody having a good day today? Everybody enjoying, enjoying their morning? Morning? Feel free, if you haven't, to hit that like button. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome if you hit that like button. I know I forget until somebody says something, so figure I'd say it. Good to hear, man. Good to hear. I catch a lot of bullheads on uh, worms. I haven't caught any uh, any bullheads in here so far, thankfully. Uh, but the other lake that I fish for catfish in the, in the fall, a lot of bullheads. I Man, I got to pluck through 10 or 12 of them just to get to a channel cat. <clears throat> What's up, Chad? Use your middle finger, buddy. <laughs> Use that middle finger. I've never caught a, a, a catfish on cut bluegill. 
then again, I haven't been fishing for catfish for long, so not long at all. It's my second season fishing for catfish. My first season was only about two months. Now I'm only about a couple weeks in to this one, so I'm not going to tell you. what to do and what not to do for catfish because I'm still I'm still learning. I think I'm, I'm starting to feel the ropes, you know. I pulled out a decent amount of channel cats out of here the last six, the last seven trips, sorry. This is my eighth trip here. But, damn, I wanted that, I want something to suck that bluegill head down. See, I got a 5-0 hook on that guy. Something tap that chicken breast. Nothing tap that chicken liver since I've had it out there. New piece out there. Hmm. Come on, come on, come on. <coughs> hmm. Get out of here, ducks. Mallards. I see turtles floating around. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hmm. One of them rods will get taken down today. Too nice out for it not to. Yep. Too nice for it not to happen. Get out of here. I gotta put do not disturb on. <laughs> do not disturb. Yeah, oh, I gotta put do not disturb on. I don't know if I get that. Yes, I can. See ya. Actually, you know what? Whatever. I'll leave it because <laughs> I'll just leave it. Yeah, I got cup bait on right now on that white rod. Fresh. Caught it three minutes before I started the stream. And I had two hits on it so far. And I got one fresh three-inch bluegill in here. I'm debating if I want to throw that out there whole later on or if I want to use a cut. Mo now. Nets, how you doing? How you doing? How's everybody doing? Sorry if I missed anybody. I'm trying to cut a little bit of chicken liver up so I can have it, have it prepared to go on the hook. So. <clears throat> I'll check that first rod in a second. Had a couple hits on it. So far, I've had hits on every rod. I missed one fish on the middle rod on the chicken liver. <laughs> so I got cut bait, uh, cut bait bluegill, chicken liver, chicken breast out right now. <laughs> Man, got a bunch of bait fish uh, floating around. I, I'm, I have a feeling that they're herring. They're shad. That'd be cool, too. Next time I come here, I don't know if I'm going to come tomorrow. It's supposed to be hot, and I'm supposed to be... I don't know if it's still happening, but I'm supposed to be hosting on my channel at 2 o'clock tomorrow. If you guys are interested, or around 2 o'clock Eastern time, uh, Damn River Boys is supposed to be going trot lining for uh, blue, claw, blue Claw Crabs. So I don't know really much about that, but he asked if I could host it for him. This way he doesn't have to pay attention to chat and all that stuff while he does it. So, 2 o'clock Eastern tomorrow on my channel. As of now, I haven't heard anything more from him. Uh, I'll be hosting some uh, trot lining for some blue claw crabs. You guys want to see some big crabs. Hmm. Right now we're going for cat crabs. Catfish crabs. Oh, live sunny, you're going nuts in the bucket, aren't you? Right, I'll check that first rod in a second. But it's tough. I've had, I've had hits on every rod so far. Every rod has bounced a little bit, so. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's trot lining for uh, Blue, Claw, Blue Claw Crabs out in Maryland, I believe. He wants me to host it on my channel. So, 2 o'clock tomorrow. I don't have a thumbnail or nothing. I could see if, I don't know, if Hogleg could quickly make me one up or something like that. He's good with that stuff. He's a good dude. Come on, come on, cup bait. Take me down on cup bait. I've never caught a catfish on cup bait before. Live minnows, chicken liver, chicken breast, and even corn I've caught in the cats on this year. In the last couple weeks that I've been fishing for them. Not even two weeks, something like that. Hmm. Yep, I used to go crabbing uh, down down uh, the Jersey Shore in the month of August. It's always the best time down there. I'd go out on the dock with some crab cages, some hand lines, pull a couple dozen of them in. Come on, Johnny. Let's go. You guys are hitting and messing around, but you ain't taking nothing. What's up with that? I know you guys are swimming around out there. Yep, Dan. Circle hooks, man. I use circle hooks when I'm striper fishing out in the ocean. Oh, man, I wish I had that cast net. These herring or these shad are really fluttering up over here on top of the water behind me. Could have grabbed a fresh load of bait fish. <clears throat> Oh well, at least you're better, Randy. Hopefully, you don't. Hopefully, like Joe Biden, you don't get it again in a di in a day. So you had it, got rid of it. And a day later, you got it again. Go figure. Glad you're feeling better, though, buddy. I can't figure this stuff out. I'm going to leave that cut bluegill out there, but I'm going to check my other two rods. Hmm. I want this chicken breast to be shredded up on that hook. That's a nice fresh beef on there. Gonna want, ain't gonna want that. Looks like a piece of a sock. You gonna want that? <clears throat> a piece of a look at this, barely hanging on. Looks like a, it's all shredded, like sh pulled pork, pulled chicken. Anybody? There was another piece of chicken breast. Hey, what do you think? You know what? Nah, it's. I should have. What I could have done. I brought some fish oil capsules with me. I could pop some of them and drip some of that fish oil on the bluegill head or something. <clears throat> I don't know. It was just an idea. Just an idea. Nope, wasn't a fart. It's my Crocs. See, I'll do it again. I didn't pass the wind. It was just my crocs.
Jumped out there. What do you guys think? Next time I recast that bluegill header, should I squeeze some uh, fish oil capsule pills on them? Think that'll help attract the fish. Pop some fish oil pills on the bluegill head. What do you guys think? Give us some scent. I mean, it can't be that bad. Anybody answer? Anybody think? Wait. Oh, jeez, Chad. Hmm. I sure hope your dogs are right, man. I hate hearing stuff like that. Hate it. Middle rod that you take down is going to be a rod holder, going to tip right over. I don't like that the middle rod is like. I like it to be like this because you can see all three rods. But until I recast, it is what it is. And I'll reset that spike on that middle rod. Looks like something just slightly tapped that chicken leg while I just passed it out. Should be a good day today. I haven't gotten anything, but I've had about half a dozen hits on every on everything, all, all three different baits. So what's going on? We need some fish. We need some fish, guys. We need some friggin' fish. <clears throat> what's up, Mike Irvin? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I freaking hope your dog's okay, Chad. I really do, man. <laughs> he 
Jeez. You guys think I should uh, pop some fish oil capsules and drizzle it on the bluegill head? What do you guys think? I need some opinions on that. Fish oil. I don't think it could hurt, right? Put some fish oil on the uh, on the bluegill head. I mean, I've had a couple hits on it already. I just don't want it to make it worse. But I would think it'd make it better. All right, I'll go for it. I will go for it. I'm going to catch another live one, too. So I have a couple. Because I plan on fishing for a while, too. Again, I hate that that middle rod is, is sitting lower than this rod. I'll, I'll get everything fixed and all that stuff. I want the view to be good for you guys. Something hitting that. Jesus, where am I seeing? Oh, nope, something's sitting that chicken liver, something's sitting in the middle of the rod. Come on, take it. Take it. Don't get snagged. I got to reel it fast because there's a lot of snag. Ooh. I got snagged the other day. I ended up pulling in some old line. Hmm. Yep, look at this. Ooh, this guy got shredded, this bluegill head. Ooh, come on, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Hitting that chicken liver. Hitting that chicken liver. Come on, one more, one more hit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you. Right. One more hit, and I'm gonna get you. I knew I wasn't seeing things from up here. I knew I wasn't seeing things. Getting some action on the chicken liver, guys. Probably a little one pounder. Yep. All right, let's put some, pop some fish oil and put it on this bluegill head. I gotta check that freaking chicken liver, too. smell like fish. Fish oil smells like fish. Imagine that. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, let me get this blue bill head out there, and then I'm going to try Was a small, put it that way. Yep, it was small. Rod holder first so you can see all three rods. Two and a half. Look at that. There's my chicken liver that's left. Nice job. Little half pounder. Really? Hmm. 
<clears throat> really, Johnny? All right, a couple hits and a couple, couple hits and a couple misses. You stay tight. Let me reset this sucker. If I can get it somewhere. Mm. Yep. Where it stays without breaking the thing. Stay where I put you. Good. Fish oil bluegill head. Let's let's see what can't. I don't think you can make it worse. All right. Oh, yeah. Let's get some more chicken liver on here. So far, we've had some pecs, some pecs, but ain't nothing that slammed down and got hooked. So, hmm. Uh, maybe I should put a maybe I should put a bigger hook on here, huh? I'm gonna go to bigger hook. Okay. Bigger hook time, guys. Enough with this little three at 2 0. We'll put a 5 0 on here. 5 0 time. Time for a 5 0. Time for a 5 0. Telling you, man, today should be a good day, guys. Get some action, but ain't landing nothing. So I'm gonna go bigger hook here. Nice chunk of chicken liver. Mm. Okay. Let's get this hook on here. Chicken liver. Huh. Hey, good piece. Come on, with those floppy pieces. Big old jalopies. Through the tendon, what's going on here? Hmm. Anything going on in the mirage that I'm missing? No. Good. All right, I gotta put this on here. Then I gotta use some of that elastic thread to hold it on. Okay, the flat surface here. This chicken liver should just slide around. Come on, stop moving. Come on now. Let's go. Hmm. This hook's got to be exposed. Huh. <laughs> Something just jumped up there.
All right. Come on, chicken breast. What are you doing? All right. Let's get this chicken liver out there. <coughs> How about wrap it in my sick time? Fish oil pills. See all three rods. Okay. We got chicken breast, guys. We got chicken liver, and we got bluegill head. And they squeeze. Oh, chicken breast is getting tapped. Right now. I missed them, but it's getting hits. We're getting hits. Hmm. This ain't taking. It. It ain't taking it. Probably because they're all two, three pounds. Hmm. You know. Johnny. They're just pecking, guys. They ain't. <clears throat> They're not inhaling it. They're not starving. They're just pecking at it like it's a little snack. What's up, Jody? How you doing, Jody? I don't think I'm going to catch 20 channel cats today. But I sure missed like seven hits. <clears throat> I've had a hit on the bluegill head. I've had a hit on the chicken livers, and I've had a hit on chicken breast. So, I squeezed a... Uh, what's up, small water? How you doing, pal? I squeezed the fish oil, two fish oil capsules on the uh, on the bluegill head. I'm hoping, you know, maybe that starts to attract. Hey, Buggy, how you doing, pal? How you doing, Chris Davis? What's up, buddy? It's a nice day out here to fish, I'll tell you that. It's supposed to be 100 the rest of the week. With the humidity, it's supposed to feel like it's over 100, so I'm going to be sweating to death against pork chop on Wednesday, I'll tell you that. Air Run, how you doing? How you doing? Hmm. How we doing? How we doing? I know it's hard to see the tips in, them, tips in them two rods, isn't it? Yo, yo, what's up, JB? <clears throat> what's up, buddy? How we doing, pal? Haven't landed anything yet. It's been almost an hour. I, I'm getting. Uh, they're probably small channel cats, like one, two pounds that are hitting around. But I've had a couple hits on the bluegill head. It's hoping, hoping maybe today I could land a, land a nice one. I'm doing all right, pal. It's a nice day here today, man. Nice, nice day here today. I'm about 78, 79 degrees, and. Uh, It's 
supposed to jack up to about 90 something tomorrow and feel like 100 with the humidity. So I figured today would be a nice day after all the rain last night we got. And got a bunch of hits. Got a bunch of hits. Nothing sticking so far. I upsized the hook on the chicken liver middle rod. And I upsized the hook on that bluegill head on that far right rod. What's up, Art? How we doing, Bud Lake? What's up, buddy? Yeah, I sure do. I had two hits on it. <clears throat> I squeezed fish oil capsule on it. Give some fish oil scent. Can't hurt. I don't think it could hurt. But I've had some hits on everything so far. And I got a fresh bluegill in the bucket right here. Hull. Still alive. Got him in the live, my little live well bucket. I might toss him out there whole later. He's only about, I don't know, one, two, about maybe three and a quarter inches long. So, yeah, I brought some fish oil capsules with me. And uh, said, screw it. Let me squeeze some on the bluegill head. I'm getting a bunch of hits, you know, a bunch of taps, but nothing's nothing's taking it. Nothing's, you know, inhaling it or, or getting hooked right away and, and swimming. We'll get some fish today. I started a little earlier today. Why is my portable charger going down so fast? Is this thing charging here? Let's see. Yeah, it's charging. Yep, it is charging. Okay, 81%, 10, 14, 53 minutes. I want to fish about five, six hours today. So I'd like to go to like three o'clock. So something's bubbling around out there. Right, right towards the middle rod. We'll get something. We'll get something. Get out of here, turtle. Yeah, so I got chicken breast, and then chicken liver, and then the blue, bluegill head on that white rod. <clears throat> we'll see what happens. I got a live bluegill in here. Maybe I'll go catch me another live bluegill. Hand line the sucker. What do you guys think? Huh? What do you guys think? Where did my line go with that hook on it? What the heck? Hmm. Where'd you go? Did that go? Did I bring it back over there? Maybe I brought it back over here. Did I bring the line back over here? Yep, I did. Let's get another little bluegill while we wait for some, some strikes. Huh? Some strikes today. Buddy has a cast net. I texted him too late. I was already almost at the lake and he, and he responded. He said, Yeah, it's in my car. So I'm going to get some, I'm going to use the cast net next time I'm out here and get some uh, fresh herring or fresh shad, whatever these schools of fish are that keep on coming by. Come on, something gets slammed. Something gets slammed. Catching some bait, guys. <laughs> we need a takedown. We don't need hits. We need a takedown. Something stick right away. Using a little line like this, gets tangled in the tangled in the feet. There you go, gotcha. Yep, gotcha. Wouldn't want to be ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Here we go. Got another nice fresh bluegill for bait. All right. So, let's go go right in the bucket. 
<laughs> yep. Hmm. See if I can pluck out another one on the same mealworm real quick. Hmm. Come on now. Come on now. Got nice setups right here. Yeah, I probably could have changed the chicken breast on that, on that left rod. But I did Come on, take it. Fish on. Ha ha. Fish on, baby. Why does it feel like a turtle? Why does it feel like a turtle? Sure ain't pulling. I think we got a turtle. I don't know. It is a turtle, isn't it? Blew it up my line. There we go. It's a turtle. Way to go, guy. Huh. Yep, way to go, guy. Huh. We're going to turtle. I got him in the foot. Huh. He was shot. I got him in the foot. Put the turtle in the foot. It's a little painter. Come on, buddy. I'll get you out. Hold on. Hold on. My new rod, first thing, is a painter turtle. Look at him. He's not happy. I got him in the foot. 
I don't know how that happened. Hmm. But. All right, buddy, hold on a second. I got to try to ply this out of your <coughs> leather feet. Hmm. Okay. Don't try to fight me. I'm trying to help you. Huh. I'm sure it don't feel good. Yep, I'm trying. Gotcha. Alright. Ow. Hmm. Turtle's gonna be set loose. Look at him. You gonna snap at the camera, are ya? That's yeah, a little painter turtle. Got the hook out of you, buddy. You're all good. You're all good. You're all good. I'll leave my chicken liver alone. Go this way. Go that way. Go that way. Get out of here. Hmm. Yick, yick, yick. Ha! It's funny. Yeah, kind of. That was kind of a different hit. It was like a slow pull down. It wasn't like a bunch of taps, and then it then it went down. You know. Hmm. So. Danny Stone is sending the turtles over here. Unbelievable! How? Uh, that's so rude. So rude, Danny Stone, for you to send the turtles over here. You know, I never caught a turtle. Well, I have, but I haven't caught a turtle in a long time. Unbelievable. Let's get some fresh liver on here. Go on, take down on that bluegill head. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're not we're not fishing for turtles, so let's get that one out of the way. Nice new piece of chicken liver. Turtle is released released safely. Huh. <clears throat> oh, now I gotta fix this freaking rod holder. And this thing doesn't want to stay here. Huh. Alright, let me just do this. Get this part out so I can really jam this thing down. Ah, there we go. There we go. I'm gonna get something big on that bluegill head, guys. Okay?
Bring up from base top today. Watch your hits. I think that turtle just got caught up on my hook. Bluegill head as you're sitting out there. I got <clears throat> two live bluegills here. I got one kind of small, about three inches or so. Surprised if I saw him out there hole and caught something. Chicken breast, let's go. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <clears throat> kind of like when all the lines are tight. Yep. Oh, dang turtle, huh? <clears throat> huh. Sunnies don't, they're not happy in that bucket. Big Chris, what up, what up, buddy? Yeah, it's a deep, it's a pretty, look at that, it's another big turtle sitting out there. Uh, it's a nice calm day today, man. It's only supposed to be about mid to upper 70s. It rained all night last night, so, man, who's Mark? Me? What's up, Celia? What's up, buddy? Ah, uh, no, that doesn't count as no skunk. I still got to catch. I still got to catch. I'm going to catch. I'm at Lake Mania because it has no name. If you look on the map, it's got no name, so... Super Smurf, Eric, calls it Lake Maniac, so that's where I am. Man, I love the ocean. I grew up fishing the ocean. Fished the ocean for 20 years. I caught more stripers than I can count. More fluke than I can count. More blues than I can count. More sand sharks than I can count. More stingrays than I can count. I'm caught in everything. Yeah, if anybody's an ocean fisherman, it was me. It was, it was me, Ashley. I was a big ocean fisherman. I go down there all the time because it ain't that far of a drive. I'm just not all set up for saltwater fishing right now. Honestly, I don't got the money to buy all the gear and all the tackle and stuff like that. All my other stuff is old. I'm, I'm actually actually want to do a giveaway and give away some saltwater stuff that I got. I think I just had a tap on it, middle rod, and that chicken liver, but. <clears throat> Buggy, text me later. I can try to help you out. There's an app that I use. It's called Splice. It's very, very easy. S-P-L-I-C-E. It's free. It's very easy. I use that. That's how I put my videos together. <laughs> middle rod's getting hit on the chicken liver. It's not getting taken down, but it just got two hits. <clears throat> Hopefully it doesn't strip that liver off. Come on, man. I gotta, I gotta, see, I got a 5-0 hook on that. Yep, I pulled out. All I did was, all I did was really fish the beach. I'd go down uh, one or two weeks every summer. With the family, you know, for 15, 20 years, all I did was fish. Night fished, everything. Sand sharks, stingrays, skates. That was the most that you'd catch at night, really. Splice, buggy. I said, text me and I'll try to help you combine them together if you want. You could always send me, I could try to. If you want to send me the video, I can see if I can pick out parts. If you want to tell me like the timestamps and stuff like that, and I can put it together on my uh, my end, 
and I can just send you the video and then you just upload it to your YouTube. But the app is called Splice. S P L I C E. <clears throat> and a couple hits on that chicken liver and that was it. Sure hope it didn't strip that hook of the chicken liver. I don't think so. I had a decent piece on there and I wrapped it tight with that thread, so. Yeah, buggy, no problem. I'll try to help you out, pal. Come on now, let's go, let's go. That bluegill's about to get tossed out there live. Hmm. It's about to get tossed out there live, I'm telling you. I did have two hits on the bluegill head before. Yeah, this guy's small enough that I could toss him out there alive. I, I bet you something. Even a pike or a pickerel or something might get it if a big catfish don't. So I'm going to do that. <coughs> and the other one I'll save for a cut bait. That fish oil screwed it up, didn't it? Fish oil capsule. <laughs> Let me move that back after. Let me move that back after so you guys can uh, see all three rods kind of normally. It sucks. Okay. Fresh bluegill, whole bluegill, live. Uh, will that work for channel cats? Live bluegill it should, right? Am I better off using a cut bait bluegill or a live bluegill? That's like three inches long. Hmm. What do you guys think? What should I toss out? Got big pickerel and big pike in here too. This sunny is not that big. Hmm. Actually, quite small. Mm -hmm. Relax, buddy. Come on. So we're gonna, we're gonna toss them out there whole. Yeah, you got it, buddy. Huh? <laughs> yep, you got it. Huh? Come on, chicken. There's no way a chicken liver's off. Alright. No way.
check that chicken wire. What's the deal? All these fish are messing with me. Packing and packing and packing. I'm going to leave that middle. I'm not going to touch it. There's no way that freaking chicken never came off that middle rod. There's no way. You got to come around and hook up to it, right? Right, so I got a three-inch live sunny on that white rod, just so you guys know. I got a three-inch live sunny on that white rod. What's up, Stonefly? What's up, buddy? Just a bunch of hits today. No takers. I've had hits on everything. Chicken breast, bluegill head, and chicken liver. I caught one freaking turtle. <clears throat> if I get skunked, I get skunked. I haven't gotten skunked in a while, so. But I'm going to catch fish today. It's early. This is the time that I would normally be starting, so. Let's see if something hits that live uh, live sunny out there. There are big pike in here. There are big catfish in here. Just got to find them. What's up, Danny Stone? What's up, buddy? Man, I am no carp boy no more. I am done with that. I am now the catfish rookie. Yeah, that's the first turtle that I caught. Danny Stone sent it here from Kentucky. I don't know how he got it here so quick. Right, Danny? I don't know how you got it here so quick, man. Hmm. Hooked it in the foot. Hmm. Come on now. So we got chicken breast on the left rod. That's got some hits. Chicken liver on the middle rod. That's got some hits. Yeah, man, yeah, I know. I'll, I'll, I'm sure I'll fish for them again. You know, come, come the fall time. But I'm, I'm really getting into uh, <clears throat> fishing for the channel cats now. You know, and the lake that I like to fish in the fall. So I only started catfishing uh, the fall of 2020. I fished for a couple weeks for catfish, and that was it. I caught more bullheads than you can count, which was so annoying. It took like 10, 15 bullheads just to get to a channel cat. And now I found this place, and I can't find any bullheads, thankfully. Oh, you're from, <laughs> you are from Missouri, right? <laughs> I thought you were Kentucky. Kentucky Fried Turtle. So, yeah, I put a live bluegill on that white rod, just so everybody knows. That thing goes down. It's going to be a nice pike, a nice catfish. Maybe a big, I don't know, bass. I have no idea. I didn't get it out as far as I had liked. I could probably recast it and get it out further if I walked out of it. But I'm just getting pecked at today. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing hooking, ain't nothing taken down, so... But something will happen because I still got another four hours to go. Hmm. As long as this portable charger holds up, I'll be good. Come on, come on, come on, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Where are you, fish? Where are you? It rained all last night. It rained this morning until 7 o'clock. Now we got just overcast. It should be good. 40 heat wave. Come on, it should be good. Come on, come on. Oh, wait, something's hitting that. Something's hitting that live. Uh, you guys see that move? That white rod's bouncing a little bit. <clears throat> mm. 
I don't know if that's the sunny moving it, or something scaring the sunny, or if something's pecking at it. But I got that 5 0 hook coming right out of its back. So. Yeah, we need a lot of rain, but it doesn't look like it's coming for a while. But yeah, that live that live uh, sunny just was bouncing around a little bit. <laughs> Ain't nothing slammed it. You know, something slams it. Dan uh, Danimals was telling me he had a bunch of carp flopping around by him too. I don't know if you guys were fishing the same spot or or what, but he had a lot of carp jumping that night as well, I think, uh, Danny. Come on, come on. Man, that white rod should have just got slammed. I saw that video this morning. I seen them fish. That was funny, Danny, that one part. I commented on that one part of the video. Hmm. I forget where Stonefly is. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, something just surfaced out there. I know you guys saw it right there. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I, I knew he lived uh, kind of far away from you. Oh, middle rod chicken liver just got hit again. Just got hit. Come on, take it down. It's getting hit, but it ain't getting hooked. Flinching, but it ain't getting hooked. Just go down, would you? Stops. Let me sit back down and we'll do it again. Look at this. I got my hook. I got my hook on my hat. Look at that. From Jailbait Outdoors. He sent me two of these suckers with a sticker. I stuck it on my hat and I wore it today. Maybe to pluck out a nice big 18 pound channel. Got lucky, huh? Chicken liver just getting just getting tapped, man. Why aren't you guys taking it down today? I'm gonna recast that sunny as far as I can get it. As far as I can get it. I wonder if I should cast it over here. Deep that way. Get it as deep that way. Ho, 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 chicken liver, chicken liver, come on, come on. Push on. 
Better not be a turtle. Better not be a turtle. And it's not big, whatever it is. Huh. Is that another turtle? It is. Why am I catching so many turtles today? I haven't caught an any. And he ate it. He bit it. Come on. Come on, guy. Uh, let me get my pliers real quick before he swims out. Oh. Come on, man, you can't. I gotta turn you around. I gotta get this hook out. Ugh. I'm gonna get so many turtles. Hmm. He's hissing. Ugh. Go that way. Huh. Go that way. Oh, man, these freaking turtles and this chicken liver, huh? I haven't caught a turtle in the seven times that I've been out here. Probably about 30 hours worth of fishing. And I caught two today. annoying. Did really come out here for turtles today? I'm going to have to change it up. I'm going to have to use cut bait on everything. I don't know. Will the painter turtles still hit and cut bait? Yeah, probably. They're eating meat, so... Still alive and kicking. Still alive and kicking. Right there. Huh. Huh, two painter turtles. How's that day so far today? Good? Good, good. Both safely released, but I don't know what's going on. I haven't caught any turtles in freaking 30 hours of fishing, I'm telling you. All of a sudden, two turtles in an hour and a half. Something slammed that live bluegill. Let's go. I need something.
turtles are aggravating. It's a little irritated. <laughs> a little bit irritated. No turtles, Sammy. No turtles. Come on, leave me alone. I gotta do something with this frog. Chicken breast is saying, <laughs> cutting it. I don't know why I'm getting turtles today. I really don't. Dip it in some garlic salt. Chicken breast, some garlic, salt. man. Something slain that live sign. Are you kidding me? Do I hear camp kids again?
Don't come over here. I'm calling you right now. Don't come, don't come over. I got COVID. Don't come over here. I got COVID. I tell everybody I got COVID. Don't come over here. Don't come over here. Get out of here, B. Get out of here, B. I'm telling you, I'll swat you and I'll kill you. Get out of here, I said. Yep. You know, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if we got these campers here again, I'm coughing. I got COVID, I tell you. Keep on walking down that path. Keep on walking. Anyways, guys, we got chicken breast with garlic powder on the first rod. We got chicken liver on the second rod. We got live three-inch bluegill on the right rod. I've had hits on everything so far, and I caught two painter turtles. So put it that way, to be blunt. What's up, Native Wild Man? How you doing, buddy? Watch, trust me, if they, on their way back, if they all try to come over here, I'm going to turn the camera and face it on them, and I'm going to start coughing, and I'm going to say, I got COVID, don't come over here. <clears throat> come on, fish. <clears throat> no more turtles. Back road, hillbillies. I hope you're right, buddy. That is the first rod right here to the left. And I got that live bluegill on the far right rod, and I got the chicken liver on the middle rod. What's up, Nets? How you doing? What's up, Ernie, buddy? <clears throat> How you doing, Ernie? Come on, something slammed these rods. Let's go. Enough of these pecs. I'm getting pecs and I'm getting turtles. And I haven't had any turtles since I started fishing here. So hmm. I plan on fishing for like five hours today. So then I'm going for a while. What's up, Joe Ziegler? What's up, my buddy? How you doing, pal? Yeah, it is peaceful. Got about nine thousand kids camp. Counselor, camp, camp kids walking down the path behind me about 100 feet away. Keep on walking up the mountain. Just go, just go. Just trust me, if you come back and try to come over here, I have COVID. I don't really have COVID, but I have COVID at that point. Mikey Irvin, how you doing? I appreciate all you guys tuning in here. I haven't landed any fish yet. I landed two painter turtles. And I've had a bunch of hits. <clears throat> On every rod. God, kids now. A little bit more quiet as they go up the mountain. I hope something slams that white rod and inhales that bluegill. JMRCs, what's up, buddy? Thanks for tuning in, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <clears throat> you guys are all awesome. Wh whoever's tuning in here to watch me catch some painter turtles today. <clears throat> and hopefully, hopefully get something nice on that live bluegill. It's not cutting it in half. I'm using a Ted. I had a couple hits on the bluegill head earlier. 
and then it died for a little while. So I went with a, a live bluegill. So I appreciate all you guys hanging out. I'll probably do this about a good solid four hours today, maybe even five. We'll see. We'll see how the fishing goes. I was hoping it was going to be good. Nice overcast day, only in the 70s. Got a big heat wave coming tomorrow. So, I'll tell you, I got to. I don't catch anything today in four or five hours, uh, or even six hours. I got a problem on Wednesday against pork chop. I'm telling you, I'm gonna have to go to a different lake. No, I can't. I can't go to the other lake. The other lake is full of bullheads, and they don't count in that challenge we got. Hmm. No, Dan, forget it. I'm a COVID patient today, so something huge just <clears throat> boiled to the left. Is that that freaking, it's that duck again, isn't it? Come on, it's got to be that duck. Something, swim, something big is swimming over there. Yep, it's that duck. That black mallard that. Ugh. Yep, I got COVID today. I don't really have COVID, guys, just so you know. If I did, I would not be out, but I will have it if they all decide they want to come trotting over here, but they're up the mountain now. Hope you don't see any black bears. <laughs> oh, man. Feel free to hit the like button, guys. If you liked that you saw, I caught two turtles. If you like that. Feel free to hit the like button. Man, that duck is coming awfully close. Get out of here. Unless that wasn't, maybe that wasn't a duck. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Art. <laughs> yep. I got the VA5, whatever you want to call it. What's next? What's up, Mike's channel? How you doing, pal? Thanks for tuning in, man. I appreciate it. Yep, that's exactly right, Billy. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, garlic chicken. Let's go. Some slam one of these rods, man. Sick of the little nibbles. And the turtles. Sick of it. Thanks, Native. Appreciate it. Yeah, feel free, guys, to smash that like button if you want. <laughs> Mr. Danimals, yes, he did. He caught, I think he caught six blue cat, blue cats this, uh, what, two nights ago, something like that. A couple nice ones, too. A couple 12 pounders, I believe. Or nice fish, man. The Weekend Warrior. What's up? How you doing? Good to see you in here. I appreciate it. It is a beautiful day out here on the lake. I've had some hits. Caught two freaking painter turtles. <laughs> Unbelievable. So far, this is my eighth day here. I've caught in channel cats every single day. And I caught no turtles in those prior seven days. So... I'm going to have to start casting in a different direction or something if I keep catching turtles. Come on, man. Come on, live bluegill. Get slammed. There's no big catfish out there that wants to inhale that right now. Hmm. Nice and hazy out here. It's perfect. Got a bunch of water. Got a bunch of rain last night. <clears throat> Oxygenating that water. Come on, fish. Get moving. Thanks, Mike's. Appreciate it, buddy. Yep, just tap it. Tap that like button. That's it. <clears throat> tap that thumbs up. Mm. What's up, Bluegill? Mm. Yeah, I'll go catch another one. They might. I, I might end up putting Bluegill heads on all three rods if I keep getting turtles.
Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. It's a nice monarch butterfly. I don't see many of them around here anymore. Come on, let's get some good hits. Enough of this. Enough of this nonsense. Hmm. Dogs yapping everywhere and... Come on, stop slamming that rod. I'm so mad I don't have any floats. No peg floats or demon dragons or nothing to keep that sunny. A foot and a half off the ground. It's only sw it's probably swimming into the ground is what it's doing with that egg sinker about 10 inches above it. Yep, native, you just said it, man. You just said it. <clears throat> I got no floats. I called the bait store this morning. Hey, you guys got live, you know, live bait, shiners, herring, anything? No. We won't have them until the end of the week. I said, how about any peg floats or anything like that? We don't have those either. We only got bobbers. But I ain't using a bobber. I need a peg float. I need, I need, I need, I'm very specific. But right now, everything is just on the bottom. Are they really Mike's channel? You know, I haven't seen many of them, to be honest with you. But this year, this is probably about the 10th or 12th one that I've seen. I've seen. Hmm. Come on, come on. Man, the first day I was here, I was fishing for carp. You know, I the first day I came here, so I was going for was carp. I had a little tiny hook, and I was using strawberry corn. Three pieces on the hook, and I pulled in channel cats. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen them, too. And now I see, I tell you, I've seen about a dozen of them so far since I've been fishing here. About four inches wide. They're nice. So it's yellow ones. I've seen some orange ones. <clears throat> Wonder if I should cast that uh, live bluegill to the right near all those weeds. I don't know. I don't know. Should I cast everything in everything in a different direction? Not sure. Nope. There comes that black mallard. Came right out from over there. That's good. My own fish. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I appreciate it. Again, I plan on running at least four hours today. At least four hours today. Five or six hours even would be good. I am, I, I'm, you know, <clears throat> not too far away from being monetized, which I think would be pretty cool. Considering I do it every day, really, why not, you know? Oh, the chicken breast. Was a fish on the garlic chicken? It hit it and swam in on me a little bit. That's what catfish like to do a lot. <laughs> so what was the garlic chicken was right? I didn't get to land it, but. The wild African hunting dogs over there. Hmm. All right, you know what? We're doing a new piece of chicken. Fresh piece of chicken. Hmm. I 
think back road said the garlic chicken was going to work first. So maybe I should dip the chicken liver in the garlic powder. I don't know. I don't know. Chicken breast dipped right in the uh, right garlic salt, right from the pizza joint. You got about nine dogs over there, right? Supposed to be on leashes. Fish, I'm fishing the, saf the safar safari. <coughs> Sahara Desert, we got hyenas out here. Passing over to the right. Don't work to the right. You're going to uh, run it up and you see the cat. A lot of seaweed on here. He ain't alive anymore. He looks like I'm using his head. How's the sound of the dogs? Good, guys? Just enjoying that?
roast chicken, chicken liver, bluegill. Head. How are we all doing today, all right? Enjoying watching me catch uh, turtles? It's good. Huh. What's up, Jesse? How you doing, pal? Morning, good morning, good morning. I've had uh, hits here and there on everything. I just missed a fish on the left rod. It was definitely a fish. And I caught two painter turtles. Go figure. I haven't caught any since I've been coming here for a week and a half. <clears throat> what do you guys think about the middle of, this, of the bluegill? The middle part of the sunny. Instead of the head, what do you guys think of the middle part? Sue, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah, we got big snapping turtles in here. I caught one, I don't know, last week sometime. The end of my stream was terrible. All right, the middle will work too? <clears throat> okay. Got two middle pieces here. Let's go fish, let's go fish. And like hyenas out there, cut the head and tail off. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I wonder if that's better than the head. I don't know. I got a 5-0 hook on that one. I I don't have any flatheads or blues or anything like that. You know, I'm just channel cats and you know there are some big channel cats in here. I am yet to get any. Four and a half pounds. I can't get them. I can't get them past that right now. I got garlic chicken breast on the left rod. I got <coughs> chicken liver on the middle rod. And the bluegill head on the right rod. Hmm. Okay. Let me go pluck out another sunny. Because I want a decent sized middle. That one that I just used is just too small. <clears throat> too small. Still alive and kicking. I know Danimals knows that song. Yep, alright, let's pluck in a sunny while I wait for something to happen here. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Look at that. Look at Look at that stuff. That stuff's got. I hope that's not my bait. Look at that. Do you guys see that black mallard? Oh, look, it's got something. Hmm, something big. Hope my white rod don't start bouncing. That thing had. A, it looked like a big fish in its mouth. I don't know what kind. And now it went underneath the water. Look at it, look at it. I, I, I can't zoom in on here, but his head's out of the water and he's got, okay, he's got a fish in his mouth, I believe. Look at him, he's trying to kill it. I don't know what kind of fish he's got. My bluegill head is not that big, so, and my white rod ain't moving. Hmm. Weekend Warrior, you have a good one. I appreciate it, man. 
Feel free to hit that like button on your way out. I appreciate you tuning in. I wish you guys could see closer that bird out there. Those those freaking black mallards, man. I can tell you, they get everything. Yep, they get everything. I'm gonna set it up like this so you guys can see like what's going on. That's where I casted this thing too. It's not. Holy! I don't think you guys are able to see that, but that thing just inhaled a fish probably about 14 inches long. Head first. Like you see on the freaking Discovery Channel. Head first, that thing went right down its gullet, about 14 inches long. That was pretty neat. Now get out of here because you're probably full. Hmm. I gotta catch a Sonny. I don't know why nothing's working. I don't know why nothing's going on. I catch a Sonny and I was like. Yes! Fish on me. Oh my. Huh. Fish off is more like it. <laughs> yep. That was on the garlic chicken breast. He was on there. He was on there. You know what I should do when I. Because I'm using a circle hook. What I should do, since I just missed two fish on the garlic chicken breast, is, hmm, um, when I feel the weight after I reel it in, because it's a circle hook, so I, you're supposed to reel and it's supposed to just hook. I'm going to set the hook again after I reel. Unbelievable. Dipping it back in the garlic powder. And then I'm going to reel that right rod, that middle rod in. These are Italian catfish here. They like the garlic salt, apparently. Hmm. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? With these... Don't stop here, kids. I'm telling you, I got COVID today. No, no COVID. Huh. I'm telling you right now. I'll pull the COVID. I'll pull the COVID thing. I'm telling you. Hmm. No, second fish I missed on the chicken car. Why is that line so slack on the fly? Yeah. I think I have a fish on the, on the chicken breast here. I got fish.
Bluegill heads get hit. The bluegill heads getting hit over there on the white rod. Mm. I just saw it bounce a little bit. <coughs> Keep on walking, kids. Keep on walking. <coughs> mm. Keep on freaking walking, would you? Garlic chicken breast. I'm gonna switch this sucker over now. Fish aren't sticking and catching turtles. Missing every hit I get. <coughs> Alright, I'm going with garlic chicken <coughs> on this rod, guys. Okay, seems like that's uh, getting hit, so. Mm. Why not? Get out of here, B. Feels like I'm making chicken for dinner. Smell like a slice of pizza. Yep, smell like a slice of pizza. Chicken it is. Tap on that bluegill head, though. I'm telling you. Fish. I wish I had my friend's cast net today. There's a boatload of herring or shad or something surfacing over there. Uh, 
<clears throat> Garlic chicken breasts on both these rods. I know the rods don't look all uniform and stuff like that, but. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> Mine's tangled around. Hmm. Yep. Right in the bucket. Hmm. Yep, right in the bucket. I don't know what's your jump right there. Hmm. But watch, all of a sudden the garlic chicken won't do nothing. Now they got two rods out there, the garlic chicken won't do nothing. Come on. I'll be right over there, guys. I'm just trying to get one more sun. Huh. Look, all of a sudden, that garlic chicken is coming up. Wow. 
lot of herring over there. All right, we're going to put bluegill body on that. So, let's do this. I'm going to put a bluegill body on that far rod. What's up? What's up, John boys? How you doing? How you doing? <clears throat> What's up, Bumpin' Mike? Hey, appreciate it coming in, buddy. Eddie Gross. Johnny Small Peppers. What's up? What's up? What's up? <clears throat> CVA. I got two freaking painter turtles so far. I haven't caught any turtles here in seven in, in thirty hours of fishing, and I got two panda turtles. I missed a couple fish uh, on the on the garlic chicken breast. I had a couple hits on I had a couple hits on everything, the bluegill head, everything. I'm gonna put the bluegill body out there. Pork chop, what's up, buddy? Yeah, well, hopefully the spot ain't like this on on Wednesday. I'm telling you right now. Yep, hope it's not like it on Wednesday. Hmm. Huh. Come on. Pork chop. I hope you brought me some luck today. Hope you brought me some luck, buddy. Let's go. We need some fish. Come on. Come on, guy. Huh. Okay. We're gonna go uh we're gonna go a piece of we're gonna go a piece of bluegill body here on this one. <clears throat> Thanks for popping in, man. I appreciate it, Mike. Appreciate it, buddy. Feel free to hit that like button. Man, I I need that cast net. I need that cast net. Thank you, fish, for letting me cut you up and use you as bait. I appreciate it. Thank you. Get a couple hits in the garlic chicken breast and switch everything over to it and dead. Appreciate all you guys coming in here. 
appreciate it very much, very, very much, 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 much. If we can get on some fish, that'd be great. Usually, I don't fish it. Usually, I don't start fishing until maybe about a half hour ago or so. I got here early today, so the timing could still be right around the corner. I don't know why my line keeps slacking on this rod. Stay tight. <clears throat> oh, man, all those bait hooks right there. This sucks. Fresh herring, too. Probably about five inches long. Good. Mm, yeah. Good. Mm. I don't know why I keep slacking. I really don't. I really don't. I just can't figure it out. Huh. Figure it out. Yeah. Okay, get out of here, B. I'm telling you. See that? Look at this. We got we got something on here. I'm telling you. I'm telling you something ain't right. I missed them. I missed them. But it was a fish. Oh wait. Hmm. No, he ain't on there. That line slacked up so much. Because the wad of chicken I'm using is huge. 100% a fish. 100% hmm. it was a fish. That line slacked up way too much. Way too much. Still alive and kicking. We're going to get some fish, guys. What you guys know now? We're going to get some fish. I'm telling you, the time is now's the time. The time is now. Ramble on. Sing my song. All right. All right. Let me get this rod back out there. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Stay straight. I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna do something a little bit different here. Okay? I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna try another garlic chicken breast. I'm gonna try garlic chicken liver. I'm gonna find my 12 0 hook. Yeah.
All right, guys, I'm just putting some livers on this rod here. <clears throat> These bait fish are so close. Let me get, let me get, let me do this, let me do this, let me do that, let me do this. Okay. Give me a second. Give me a second. Look at those bait fish are jumping. Something's going after them. Hmm. So, uh, something is going after them. One of them rods goes, guys. Go get it. I'm not even looking. Mm. <clears throat> All right, we're going to dip this sucker. Where are the fish? Where are the fish? Chicken breast, garlic chicken breast, garlic chicken liver, cut bait bluegill, center of the body, no head. You want center. Hmm. I've had a couple hits, I've had a couple misses. I've had a bunch of hits, I've had a couple misses. And I caught two freaking painter turtles. Seems like uh, they're getting to the bait before the catfish can. Hopefully a nice size channel. That's that cut bait out there. <clears throat> oh, did I miss anybody? BS, what's up, buddy? I appreciate you coming in here, Bernie. Squirrels Magnet, what's up? Thank you so much for coming in here. Yak Shore, Danny Stone still hanging out. Billy still hanging out. Ziegler still hanging out. Danimal still in here. You guys are awesome. Appreciate it. Adrenaline Jackie, thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Nobody's missed any fish yet. I caught two turtles, and I hand-lined, uh, like, three or four sunnies for bait. Uh, and I missed a couple fish, so. <laughs> I've had hits on everything. <laughs> Nothing's, you know, really sticking. Nothing's sticking. They ain't hooking themselves today. Really want that far right rod to get slammed. That's the cup bait I got on there. Randy Rhino still creeping in here. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. If anybody tells you anything different, tell them to contact me. I'll straighten them right out. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get some fish, guys. 
What do we got? Two hours and 34 minutes? Man, it feels like a month and a half ago. Looks like that f- Looks like that far right run's moving a little bit. But I could be wrong. Uh, <clears throat> I start at 9.15. It's been two hours. It's probably about 11, 11.50 right now, Eastern Time. 11.56. That's my guess. <clears throat> Eastern Time. About a couple more hours. <clears throat> Do two or three more hours. So something's got to give, guys. We got garlic chicken breast. We got garlic chicken liver. And we got cup bait out there on that white rod. So. Yaki, I'm not sure what you mean, buddy. Man, I should eat lunch. I never eat lunch. Once in a while, my wife will make me some, you know, we'll make a wrap or something like that. Some some turkey wrap or something. Put some tomatoes on there. Some lettuce. Chicken mole. Ah, oh, that sounds good. Sounds good. Haven't had mole mole. Oh, again, it wasn't a fart. It was my Crocs. So, just to let y'all know. Ain't working. I got the head of that bluegill, too, I could use. Yep. The tail must suck, huh? Everybody's, nobody says to ever use the tail of cut bait. It's always the head. Or now, I guess, the middle. But something will hook up here. Something will hook up here, guys. I got I got time. I got plenty of time. <coughs> Get some action, guys. Let's do some. Fast action to an action. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, let's get some action here. That doesn't seem to be working too well. Come on, rods, let's go. Start bouncing. Right. The hand sanitizer is good. It's lunchtime. These guys got to be hungry. These guys got to be hungry. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> got three different baits out here, huh? So far, everything has had a hit. But nothing has really wanted that bait. Nothing has really slammed it. That's a lot of bait fish. Come on, man. Something hit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I will. I will switch over to everything else. I got. I got other stuff. Jacked up. What's up, buddy? Thanks for tuning in, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. <clears throat> so waiting for some good, solid takedowns. That's what we're waiting for, man. I. I I figured today would be a perfect day. Got some rain last night, you know. Nice and cool today. It's only like 78 degrees, 77 degrees. And we're getting that heat wave tomorrow. Supposed to be 90 something. So it's a, the heat index supposed to be like 103 for the next week. So I appreciate all you guys hanging out here, supporting my channel. Appreciate it very much. 
very, 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 very much. Now let's let's get let's get some fish, huh? No turtles. No more turtles today. Enough. Caught, caught my quota. Two turtles a year is what you're allowed. Got my quota. Sorry, guys. I'm back. I'm back. Hmm. Hmm. Back. I'm back. I'm back. Come on. Let's go. Some hits. We need some fish, man. Jacked up. We need some fish. <coughs> yeah, man. We got some heat coming on. It sucks. It's the last thing we want. No, we don't want. We don't want Team Turtle. I caught one monster snapping turtle last week. And I caught two painted turtles today. I haven't caught any any turtles the last 30 hours of fishing here. But I caught two today. So. I don't know. I had a couple of hits that definitely were not turtles. That I missed. <laughs> they ain't hooking up. It's not hooking up. Yeah, it's going to be 90-something here, too, on Wednesday, Choppy. <laughs> this is where I'll be fishing against you on Wednesday. <laughs> You're getting a sneak peek of what's going to happen. Nothing. Uh, hopefully them fish, they don't, if they don't bite today, hopefully they'll be biting on Wednesday. I really don't feel like losing against you in the challenge. Yeah, yeah sure, I'm in another challenge, man. I'm trying to get the... the to be one and one. I'm going against Pork Chop on Wednesday. 8 a.m. Hog Legs channel. 8 a.m. 1v1. Channel Cats only. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing is given. Nothing is given. Had a bunch of hits earlier. Had a bunch of hits earlier. Then it died down. I got two turtles. And the chicken breast. Garlic chicken breast got two hits. I think two two or three hits. Two different, you know, three different times. But The cup bait got a couple hits, a couple taps, but that was it. Something just came up right there. I don't know what it was. Looked like a, I don't know, maybe a pickerel. <laughs> oh, so it was a fin. <laughs> um, I got chicken breast, garlic chicken breast on the left rod. I got garlic chicken liver on the middle rod, and I got cut bait, uh, bluegill on the right rod. Jacked up. If I if I skunk out today, this will be my first skunk here. This is my eighth day here. I've gotten 20 channel cats out of here so far. Nope, oh, middle rod, chicken liver just got tapped. Come on. Come on, hey. Don't be no turtle, I'm telling you. Is he looking up like this? Garlic chicken liver. Taking it and hooking it. Come on, take it, take it. Just 
don't be a turtle. Be a, be a fish. Just be that bad. Just take it already. Don't be another turtle, I'm telling you. Hmm. I think it's a turtle. Yeah. I think it's a turtle. Yeah. Got the hook on a bolt's head right out of its shell. Huh. It's a fish. No. This is not a Another turtle. Yeah, I do. Yep. So is it? No, it's a catfish. Imagine that, huh? Little guy. That's a bullhead. That is my first bullhead here. The size of this bullhead, huh? Mm. Swallow the sucker too. Mm. First bullhead out of here. First two turtles and first bullhead out of here. Mm. Imagine that. Yep, swallowed the hook too, didn't you? Didn't you? Look at this sucker. Mm. Yep. <laughs> Amazing. Little guy. He swallowed the uh, I knew. You know, you go stink. Nope, I ain't gonna get that out. I'll rust out. It's gonna have to rust out, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. <clears throat> How much does this bullhead weigh, huh? Think it beats a pound? Think it goes over a pound? First bullhead. First bullhead here. And first two turtles here. And I've caught 20 channels here. <clears throat> two pounds, eight ounces. Imagine that. Two pound bullhead. You guys can see that? I think you can see it, right? Look at that. A two pound, eight ounce freaking bullhead. Hmm. Huh. Imagine that. Always a first for everything, right? First for everything. Amazing. Yep, amazing. Uh, 
telling you, I haven't caught a, I haven't caught a bullhead here yet, and that, and and now I catch one. I don't want, I don't want a bullhead, man. Oh, I got a retire hook here. Yep, retire hook here. It's probably with some messing around. Yep. Ah, two plus pound bullhead. That's not a bad size. Certainly not what I'm after. So. I guess a fish is a fish. But. Sucks. I need some good slams, guys. Tie this. <laughs> retie this, retie that. Look at this, look at that. Oh, freaking bullhead. Give me a break. Come on. That's why I've been coming here. No, I've been coming here because I've been catching the channels every day. But I haven't caught any bullhead. That's why I've been coming here. Today, what do you know? Two toitles and a bullhead. Imagine that crap all up. A couple of mosquito bites along the way, yeah. Something's flopping around out there. I honestly thought that was a turtle. Thought that was a turtle. Where is my where is my string here? Yep, where's my string? Come on. Where did my string go? Hmm. A couple of mosquito bites. That's good. There's the string, the magic thread to keep this chicken liver on. Hmm. And bullhead. Nah, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever.
gonna move. I'm gonna move the camera over here. I'm gonna cast that way. Like this. That way with this sucker. I'm going to cast out as deep as I can. All right, now I'm going to move the camera for you guys. I know it gets deep out there. Huh. Move the camera, right? Move the camera over here. <clears throat> Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Danny. Appreciate it, pal. Yeah, no, bullheads don't count. Nope. I'm surprised I even caught a bullhead. Huh. Honestly. Yep. Surprise, surprise. Uh, two pan of turtles and a bullhead today. First day so far without any channel cats. Without any channel cast. Can you imagine that? Malarkey, huh? Imagine that malarkey, guys. Even though I got another couple hours. I'm still going. I'm still going. Hey, Jody, thanks for popping back in. Let's see if I could go. I'm going to try to get all the... I think I can get... There we go. That looks better. <laughs> that looks better. Right, Johnny? All right. Bluegill head right here. Bluegill head on that rod, the white rod. Hmm. Garlic chicken liver over here. I 
might just put regular chicken bread. I don't know. Nothing's going on in this rod. <coughs> yep. Yep, there's nothing going on that road. See what happens. Bait store had no minnows, nothing, nothing live that I could use. I like to get the minnows and put four or five of them on a hook. I do pretty good with that. Of course, they didn't have them today. They won't even have them on Friday. Huh? Looks like I'm stuck with what I got. got chicken liver, chicken breast, and bluegill. So that's what we'll be sticking with for the next. Two hours or so. Mm. That's it. Crazy Hillbilly, what's up? Randy Pork Chop, thanks for hanging out, guys. I appreciate all your support. I really do. I like to pull on a nice big channel cat today. But I don't know. Between the turtles and the little pecks that I've been getting. And that one bullhead. I don't know. 2.08 bullheads, not that bad of a size bullhead. But I don't want them freaking. I don't want those things. We don't want no bull horns. Yeah. No bull horns here. Mike's channel, what's up? What's up? Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Look at all them bait fish out there. Those are all probably all four or five inch herring. I'm going to have a cast net next time I'm out here. That's going to be the bait of choice. I'm just moving my stuff over by the camera now. That's all I'm doing. I'm waiting for, waiting for a hit. Waiting for a good hit. A good solid hit. Maybe I can move the camera a little, a little different. It seems a little close. I don't know. Yep, let's try this. Hmm. Yep, let's try this. What do you think of that? That's, oh, that's not good. I'll let this leg out more. Huh? Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. There we go. Looks good. Now you can see the herring out there, too. Mm -hmm. Chicken breast ain't doing nothing. Chicken liver caught me my first bullhead. That's all I've been coming here. Got a rock in my crock so that I can't get out. Come on. Man, these crocs are noisy, aren't they? Oh, the heck. Oh, I know how to throw a cast net. I've used the cast net a lot. I used to the uh, cast net for spearing and stuff like that down at the ocean, at the ocean, Jersey Shore. I did that for 15, 20 years. I could throw a cast net, no problem. Something massive just jumped over there. Probably a pike, but I don't know. Hmm. Oh, there goes that chicken liver is getting hit. Chicken liver was getting hit on the right rod. That was a fish hit there that wasn't a turtle hit. Don't be no bullhead. Don't be no bullhead. One quick hit, I think. I only caught one hit. I was looking. <clears throat> that is a bait fish out there, man. Need fresh shad. 
I would rather them be shad than herring, but hmm. I don't know. Mm. Let me get my chest. <laughs> Dang chicken liver. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Yeah, I know how to I know how to do that. <laughs> I know how to throw a gas net. <laughs> <coughs> Man, bless me. Really? One hit on that chicken liver and that was it? Things wrapped on there good. There's no way it took that chicken liver off that right rod. Mm. That middle rod sucks. There you go, Yak. Good for you, buddy. You go real beast. Oh, you live near him? He's good. I watch him once in a while. I watched him the other day. Oh, there goes that right rod again, getting nibbles, but ain't nothing sticking. <laughs> Funny because the lake that I normally, uh, well, not normally because I only did it once for catfish. The lake that I fished for catfish two years ago by me, Pompton Lake, the lake I fished for carp, I, uh, Use garlic chicken liver a lot, and all I caught were bullheads. <laughs> I did pull in a couple channels, but a lot of bullheads is what I caught. What's up, Dennis the Menace? What's up, Bigfoot? What's up, buddy? How we doing today, pal? Thanks for popping in, man. I appreciate it. Trying to get on some fish here. Working on hour number three. Got one bullhead catfish and two painter turtles. <laughs> I thought today would have been a real good day with the weather. But apparently I was wrong. Unless things turn around real quick. What do you mean, John boys? Like a piece of finger? <clears throat> I gotta uh, I gotta do something with that middle rod, the chicken breast with the garlic ain't doing nothing. Maybe just plain chicken breast. <sighs> there you go, yak. Do what you gotta do, buddy. Do what you gotta do, man. <laughs> Absolutely, everybody needs sleep. Yep, 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 yep. You're getting chains. You're getting chains, Getting changed. Couple hits on that liver ball, and that was it. Huh. <laughs> That's cool. Great chicken breast.
bluegill from working. Around far. Most of that chicken liver. Clean chicken breast on here. Cut bluegill on there. We're gonna go with uh, <coughs> screw the garlic. We're gonna go with uh, regular chicken. I'll be with you guys in a second. Sorry, I'm just rebaiting a hook. Can't catch fish without getting rods out there, right? Yeah. <coughs> right. Let's see this. This. You got any hits that I'm missing? Probably not. Probably not. Cup bluegill, what the heck's going on? Where the fish? Where the fish? Where the fish? Where the fishies at? <clears throat> Where the fishies at? Come on, we need some fish, guys. One bullhead doesn't count. And two, two. Speaking of monarchs, butterflies, look. 
Come on, come in the camera. Come in the camera. So people can see you. Over here. Look, I'm the butterfly whisperer. Look, watch. There he is. Come on. Come on. Nice yellow monarch butterfly. No, like you said, Mike's channel says you don't see too many of them anymore. Good. All right, cut blue gill, chicken breast, and chicken liver, guys. I don't know what uh, more I could do right now here. I couldn't get any live bait today because the bait shop didn't have any. They had no peg floats. I couldn't use any floats to keep my bait off the bottom for, you know, I wanted to use a live bluegill or something like that. Just uh, nothing, nothing. I hope you catch him up, buggy. Because <clears throat> all I got is one bullhead today. Caught my first bullhead here yet. Horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Yep. Get out of here. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see if we pull any channels in today. Yeah, stinking it up with the channels today. It's my first day catching no channels here. So it's kind of that kind of stinks, you know. What's up, Tully? How you doing, buddy? Thanks, thanks, Brandon. Appreciate it. Yeah, everybody, feel free to hit that like button. That'd be freaking awesome. Uh, excuse me. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. I'm trying to find a soft spot here for my chair. Can't. It's all rocky and roots. Rocky root. Rocky road ice cream. Yeah, rocky road ice cream. Yeah. I hate it, actually. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. You know, <clears throat> Buggy, this place is weird. I, I I love this place. Don't get me wrong. That's why I keep coming here. Uh, plus, I've been pulling channels out of here, you know, quite often, I guess you'd say. Not, not left and right, not constantly, but, you know, I pull three or four out a day. Uh, so far, no channels today. But, you know, one day it's like they'll hit on the chicken breast. Another day they'll hit on the live bait that I got from the bait shop. Another day they'll hit on the chicken livers. Another day they hit on strawberry corn. I, I can't figure them out. So, can't figure them out. Hmm. Yep. We'll see if anything happens. Three hours and 20 minutes in. It's been a good, it's been a, it's a nice day out here. So I'm happy with the weather. So I'm not boiling out here today. Tomorrow is when the heat really picks up. Today it's only about 78 degrees. Um, Gotta be about I don't know twelve forty five, somewhere around there. Twelve what is it about twelve thirty twelve forty five Eastern time? Anybody know? That monarch butterfly is just hanging out by me. Yep, just hanging out by me. Feel free to hit that like button if you haven't hit it already. That'd be awesome. Twelve forty one. Cool, cool. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it, Brandon. Brandon the Mandon. Appreciate it, buddy. Hmm. I'm about to try to catch a really small sunny. Just haul it out there. 
That cup bait just ain't doing nothing's really doing it. I mean. One bullhead. One bullhead and four sunnies. So it might be my first uh first day out here with no channel cats, Arkansas. Two pound bullhead. How much do these fish grips weigh anyway? Somebody asked me that the other day. I'm trying to minus some, some ounces off of my fish. Huh, let's see. Let's see what these fish grips weigh. I'm gonna guess uh Point three oh. Ah, oh, fish grips. <clears throat> they only weigh zero point one nine. These fish grips only weigh zero point one nine, so I think my car alarm is going off. And I am not close. I am not close at all. An electrical problem with the car. The alarm looks to go off on its own. So I have to unhook the battery every single time I park. If I know I'm going to be somewhere for a while. But I haven't heard it go off here while I've been live streaming. So until now. Now I hear it going off. And I ain't walking all the way back there to unplug the battery. Forget it. It stopped. Sometimes it start, stops and sometimes it goes on for a while. Oop, I'm getting a hit on that chicken breast. That middle rod just got a hit. I don't know if you guys were able to see that or not. Hmm. Chicken breast just got a hit, but it didn't stick. <laughs> it wasn't a good takedown. What's going on here? What's going on here? Oh, good. Small water. That's good. Nice. <clears throat> well, maybe I'll go back to a dead battery. That'll be good. <laughs> That'll be great. Let me tell you. I'm not going to be a happy camper if that's the case. Still going off. I hear it. I hear it in the distance. Still going off. You gotta be kidding me. I am not going back. It stopped again. Yep, good idea, Arkansas. That's great. I can't even I can't even walk back unless I cancel this stream. I can't even walk back. I got too much stuff out here. Stupid thing. It stops and then it starts again. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know if I got them. I have jumper cables in the trunk. That's great. Kidding me? Hmm. Come on, fish, let's go. It's like death. I just had one hit on that chicken breast, and that was it. <laughs> Man, I had a thresher shark break me off a couple, uh, twice, actually. We were out fishing for stripers. So a bunch of thresher sharks out there. We were on a, I was on a part, little, little charter boat. It was just me, my stepfather, and my stepbrother. And the guy's name was Rich. Brought us out there, striper. No, flout. We we're fluke fishing. I'm sorry. And uh, he's like, "Oh, look at these stressor sharks! Stressor sharks! Look at them flopping around." So he throwing. I forget what the heck he even put on there and tossed out there. And we hooked up to one. I think I fought it for like a minute and a half, and its tail cut the line. Man, this is really slow, huh? This is really slow. What the heck's going on here? Really, really slow. Hmm. Maybe I'll throw this somewhere else. Maybe I'll catch it. What the heck's going on here? This is weird. This is weird. I'm the only person that fishes here.
rest on here that I hit before. Probably still on here for the day. Still for me. Come on, blue go ahead and chicken liver. Do something for me. I love the seaweed, spinach. Huh. I love the spinach, right? The spinach. This chicken breast piece is so good. This You guys didn't see that, right? Slip on that rock. Three different baits. Oh. One bullhead and two painter turtles today. It's been like death. And it's a shame because it's nice out today. <laughs> That's pretty close, actually. The seaweed's sitting right there in front of the camera on the ground. Yeah, buddy, you got that right, Danny Stoney. I got to do it here, man. We got, there's good drop-offs here. What's up, Double AP? What's up, buddy? <clears throat> Thanks for tuning in, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Feel free to hit that like button, guys. I don't hear my car alarm anymore. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Ooh, some some big fish in here. I'm so mad that there ain't no lot. There was no live bait at the bait shop. I wanted extra large shiners. With a peg float and get it out there and keep it off a foot and a half off the ground. <laughs> Probably would have picked up some decent fish. But I got cut bait, bluegill, chicken breast, and then chicken liver. Nine two two crappy, what's up, buddy? <laughs> yeah, he laughed. Everybody laughed. Mm, it would have been funnier if I actually wiped out and went right into the water. Man, man. Come on, I had see earlier today. I when I first started, I was getting a bunch of hits. Nothing crazy. Nothing, you know, slamming my rods or nothing like that. Like I've had, you know, last week. I don't know. Maybe there are weekend warriors fishing here all weekend. <laughs> Scared all the fish. I'm not sure. But I had no problem. 
the last seven times I've came here, I've had no issues catching channel cats. <laughs> it was close. I got them slick crocs on right on that slate rock out there. Come on, come on. Something, something got to hit something, right? So I'm just slam that freaking bluegill head. Let's go. Enough with this. Enough with it, guys. Enough. We need some fish. <clears throat> About to go hand line another sunny. Try to get a really, really small one and toss it out there alive. Oh, chicken liver. Did I miss it? Yep, I missed it. I missed it, sucker. Mm. <clears throat> that was actually a decent, not, it wasn't big bulk, but it was a decent bulk. Well, I wasn't waiting for it to stop hitting either, so that's why I did it so quick. Hmm. Give me a piece of chicken liver now. All right, all right, all right, all right. Listen, hit. We had some action there, all right? <clears throat> Fast action to action. I missed it. I missed the sucker, yeah. Thread this on. Look, the bugs. Hmm. I'm time for bugs today. Yeah. I'll tell you though, this elastic thread <clears throat> is awesome. It is awesome. It keeps this chicken liver on, man. This stuff sticks to itself. You don't gotta cut it, tie knots. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Yeah, fish are jumping. Who sings that song? An old song. 80s, maybe? Seven, no, 70s, maybe? What's up, pup? What's up, dogs? Hey, what's up? Buddy. What are you 
Ooh, buddy. What are you doing? Your owner is way ahead. Way ahead of the game over there. my sanitizer. I don't want salmonella today. <clears throat> I don't want salamander manella today. What's up, Mike Gerb? What's up, Shane? What's going on, buddy? Thanks for tuning in. I just missed a fish. I got one bullhead catfish today and two, two uh, painter turtles and about four little bluegill that I caught. A little mealworm for bait. <clears throat> That's all I'm using Mike's channel is circle hooks, man. Mm. Yep. That's all I'm using is circle hooks. That's why, you know, when I get a hit or something, I just reel. <clears throat> Instead of setting the hook like I'm, I'm used to doing, I'm using, uh, I don't know, I got two of the rods got Gamagatsu's on there. 5 0 and I think a 3 0. And I got a 5 0, uh, I, I don't know what brand that is, but. Eh, I've caught in a couple bullheads over at the uh, the lake by me, Pompton Lake, like three and a half pounds. Those were big bullheads. I got those back in my videos from when I first started my channel back in uh, August or August 2020. But I believe I was fishing September and October of 2020 for catfish. That's when I was pulling in, you know, three plus pound bullheads. No, they're not a guaranteed catch. I'll, ch I'll tell you that. <laughs> you know, a lot of times they'll hook themselves. Man, Ziegler, I love setting the hook. I remember the first time I used circle hooks years back. I was I was out on a boat striper fishing. And the guy's like, all right, we're, you know, we're using circle hooks. All you got to do, when that rod goes down, all you got to do is start reeling. What do I do? First fish, set the hook. I missed it. <coughs> yep. <clears throat> yep, the car alarm's still going off. It's probably annoying the heck out of everybody that's parking in that parking lot. Oh, now it's stopped. It'll go off again. Oh, it's going off. A piece of crap. Stupid. Yeah, Joe. I, I, I'm just... I was always a hook setter, man. I think we we're live lining a bunker, which is kind of, I guess, if you were to explain bunker to somebody from the Midwest or something, I would compare bunker to skipjack. We're using live bunker that we ca we cast netted and we've got a bunch of them, you know, 8, 10, 12, 14 inches long. We're just hooking them through the back, live lining them out the back of the boat. We're out like a mile and a half off the shore, I think. And, uh, man, you would see them stripers slam it at the top of the water. It was awesome. Yeah, I know. Fuck, I've looked that up. The one I caught was like three and three quarters or something. It was a brown bullhead. Hmm. <clears throat> yep, I can't believe how slow it is today. I can't believe how slow it is, man. It's just, dang, it sucks. Alarm's going off again. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Hmm. 
guarantee you, well, there's like people that are hiking and stuff like that that got their cars parked. They're like, where the heck is this idiot? And his alarm going off. That's what I would be thinking. Hmm. Man, that, that bluegill head doesn't want to do anything for me. Nothing for me, man. He wants to do nothing for me. Chicken breast doing nothing either. Yeah, keep beeping, horn. Keep freaking beeping, alarm. Maybe tomorrow will be better. I'm supposed to host the. I'm supposed to host uh damn river boys tomorrow at two o'clock on my channel. He's going trot lining. Or blue blue claw blue blue claw crabs out in Maryland. It's trot line for for him. He want he wants me to host host it for him because he can't you know can't pay doesn't want to pay attention to chat and respond and stuff. And people ask questions and stuff because I have no idea. Hmm. Yeah, Dan, that's how far away I am from it. That's how far of a hike into these mountains I went. Sometimes it goes off and sometimes it don't go off. Makes no sense. You know, when I quit, I called the auto part, the, the auto body place, the body shop right across the street from me. I'm like, hey, Dean, uh, I got a question, man. I said, my, you know, my, my wife's car. All right, it's not going off right now. Um, I said, my wife's car, I said her alarm randomly goes off and sometimes the interior lights will flicker when I'm driving for no reason. He's like, oh, that's weird. Like, he's never heard of such a thing. He's been doing it for 40 years. Like, he's never heard heard of something like that. I guess I'm the first person who's ever had that problem. He's like, bring it over. I'll check it out. It's been seven months. I haven't brought it there. I'll bring it over. Maybe because I wore my Eagles hat today, huh? You think that's why I haven't caught any catfish? So is the bullhead? The bullhead's in the catfish family, so I, I did catch a catfish today. I'm about to go pluck out another Sunny. I'm going to hand line another Sunny. Try to get a tiny one. Toss that out in that left rod. Let's do it. Good. Keep beeping. Yeah. <clears throat> Stupid alarm. Unbelievable. Come on, I want to time it. No, no, it's too big. It's too big. It's too big to do it. No. My little mealy. Any hits while I wasn't looking? Probably not. I need a tiny sunny. I don't want one that's six inches long. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work here. Trust me.
Gotcha. Gotcha, but. If I had a bobber, if I had a float or something, I would use this guy. Huh. <clears throat> that was too big of a sunny anyway. Oh. <sighs> Can you guys hear the alarm? Because I can. Might have to end it. Nothing's happening. One bullhead, two turtles, some hits. But it's been pretty crappy, to say the least. What's up, Coastal? How you doing? <clears throat> Got my car alarm going off back there. Oh, man, yeah, I might have to cut this stream. Yep, bug man, I got there's some kind of electrical problem. The alarm goes off when it wants to go off. It makes no friggin' sense, man. No sense. I'm not getting any hits right now. I had a couple little random hits, but nothing, no good takedowns or nothing. So I might end up, might end up wrapping it up pretty soon. Got one bullhead, two pounds. That was it. There ain't nothing else going on, man. Ain't nothing else going on. I think it was the Eagles hat today. I do. I think it was the Eagles hat. Hmm. Maybe I'll come out here tomorrow morning for a couple hours before. Uh, I think I'm still hosting that for Damn River Boys at 2 o'clock. 
Something's slamming them herring out there. I'm or shad. Look at look at the size. Look at the size of that bait ball out there. Hmm. And then he comes up and slams him. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I looked that up. I think I might have even pulled the fuse, and it didn't stop the didn't stop the alarm. I think I, I pulled the fuse for the alarm, and I think it screwed something else up. I forget what the other thing was, but I looked in the manual to see what alarm the fuse was, and I found it for for the alarm, and I pulled it, but <clears throat> I think it messed something else up. So I had to find another one of them, uh, and I, of course I dropped the fuse in the side of the seat. Uh, luckily, the guy at the bakery uh, had an extra f uh, five or ten or whatever the heck they go by, and I put it in there. But it's all it's all screwed up. Look how calm and perfect it is out here. And isn't this amazing? And there's no channel cast to be found. I plucked out 20 here in seven days. 20 channels in about 30 hours, so it's about a channel every hour and 15 minutes. And I haven't caught any today. And it's frustrating because I wanted to fish like six hours. And now that I got this alarm going off back there, I know there's a ton of people probably like, what the hell is going on, you know? I'm not walking back there to unplug the battery and leaving all my stuff here. Can't do it. Hmm. No, nothing's going on here. I mean, this is perfect. fishing here Wednesday against pork chop and that's going to be a problem guys that is going to be a problem if I can't get on the channel cats so I'm going to try to get here tomorrow and see how it is when the weather's hot I would have thought today would have been perfect 75 degrees whatever the heck it is you know hmm. <clears throat> ain't nothing nothing doing all them shad out there some, there's some stuff hitting them. This is just uh, <laughs> nuts. This is nuts. Uh, I'm surprised I ain't pulling up channels, though, man. I tell you that ball of bait is huge. I mean, it is loaded. That ball of bait is loaded out there. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can hear the alarm. I can. It's getting frustrating. <laughs> so, <sighs> if the fish were hitting really good, I'd say I'd maybe I'll walk back there and mess with the alarm. But I, I'm not. I'm not gonna because they ain't really hitting today. I don't know if it. I don't know if it is dropping the weather that they don't like. I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> it ain't hitting. 
Tell you that much, yeah. So, wrap this sucker up. Of course, someone calls the cops and says this guy's car alarm's been going off for three hours. And they're gonna try to find the owner, and then there's gonna be a problem. Gotta gotta wrap it up. I gotta wrap it up, guys. Sorry, I wanted to go six hours, but. Appreciate you all for hanging out. It was a fun time today. I think that's about one bullhead and like six sunnies. Two turtles. Yep, it's still going off the alarm. Nope, now the turtle produced a freaking hit. Sunny. How's that? What are you gonna do, guys? Right? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? It's part of life, right? The unexpected. Guys, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate all your support. You know, I'm probably about 300 hours away from being monetized, which is pretty cool. I mean, I come out here every day, so why not live stream, right? Just stinks that I got to stop right now. I wanted to. I'm going, man. I really did. Yeah. Wanted to keep on going. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Right? Yep. I still hear that alarm. I don't need any issues. Hmm. You know? Hmm. Don't need any issues. People probably fished here over the weekend. Get the crap out of all the fish that came
what the f- 